Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go. We are emptying out our trailer. For the first time. For the first time. Uh, it's very strange. We've been in here for about 20, 21 mm -hmm. months straight, so we have a lot of things in here. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we were overweight, but... Uh, and we're going to talk about why we're emptying the trailer out uh, at the end of this episode, and I think we're going to dive much deeper into it in the next episode. Mm -hmm. uh, but for right now, we wanted to share... Uh, some organizational tips, uh, some storage tips. Uh, some people might call them hacks. I think that's kind of a silly word for this sort of thing. It's really just where we stored stuff. Right. <laughs> uh, but we did come up with some some ways. Like we found things out from other people online, mm -hmm. some people we met along the way, and we also kind of developed some of our own little uh, tips and tricks. So come along with us. Aaron's going to start off in the bedroom, and then we're going to work our way backwards. In the master bedroom, in most of the travel trailers, there's these big closets on either side of where the bed goes, and they're really deep, but really skinny. And so we really struggled with, do we use hangers? Do we use hanging storage? What What's the best way to do things in here? We found these really narrow um, drawers, or just plastic drawers at Walmart, and this worked out really well for Brian's clothes, and he was able to then still hang some things that needed to not be so wrinkly. So that worked out really well in there, and it just fills in that space that's kind of cavernous in the back there. And then over here we have two drawers, and the best way to organize these was to use, they're called scubs, they're from Ikea, and they just fit in here. They're kind of sturdy, and Brian was able to put all of his shirts in here and be able to see them really easily. I kept all of my stuff that doesn't hang very well, like sleep clothes and undershirts and, you know, underwear and stuff like that. So <laughs> it was an easy way to do that over here. Now let's talk about shoes. Uh, Brian only had two pair of shoes and then like his shower shoes so he didn't need a ton of space to keep shoes um, and my shoes were a lot smaller so I could put two like in one pocket so we use this canvas shoe organizer down here at the foot of the bed and we were able to fit our shoes in there and then they were out of the way our next item is a pretty ubiquitous little tool for RVers and actually you know, we, lots of people use them at their houses. We've used them at our houses and all that. I'm talking about command hooks and Velcro and bins and kind of that whole selection of things you find in that little red end cap at the store. So we put a bunch of command hooks right here by the front door and we've got jackets, we've got hats, we've hung scarves up here when it's colder. Uh, I keep a flashlight up here where, for taking the dog out so there's always one right by the door. We've also used bins over by the chairs to keep remote controls in and kind of to put your phone there when you're watching TV. I also have a bin next to the bed where I keep my wallet and keys and knife and all that when I go to bed. We've also used command hooks to put up Christmas lights. We've used command Velcro to put up our blink cameras and to put up all sorts of stuff. Uh, they're really great for lightweight decorations. We had some paintings and stuff up in the living room between the two big windows. We've even used command hooks in the shower. They make special waterproof ones, and we use those to, uh, we put a, a bin up to hold body wash and shampoo, and we put another hook up to hold loofahs and stuff like that. So command hooks are super, super useful, and I promise you, you will find uh, about a hundred different ways to use them in your RV. Another cool little thing we installed in the bathroom is a magnetic knife strip in the medicine cabinet. It's great for holding things like nail clippers and tweezers and other little metallic things. Now, we've already taken all of those out of the rig, so there's a screwdriver and a glass scraper in there, but you get the idea. We made it a point to keep all of our food up off of the floor. We didn't put any food down in the lower cabinets. They were only kept in the upper cabinets. And in order to keep things kind of in place, especially when we were moving, and to make it easier to get to things, we got these bins at Ikea, and you can get them in different sizes and different lengths, but these fit perfectly inside our cabinets, and we could keep all spices, so if I knew I was gonna be cooking a bunch with a bunch of different spices, I could pull the whole spices rack out. If I just needed to grab, you know, a can of soup, just grab the soup. Um, but it made it really easy to organize our things, and we could just pull them in and pull them out as we needed to, and we had them all over this cabinet and the cabinet on the other side of the rig. For our non-food items like electronics and cords and just other stuff that you would normally probably throw in a junk drawer, we use just these plastic bins that could then stack on top of each other with the lids. These work out really well too. They fit sideways in our cabinets we just showed you and then long ways in some of these longer 
over the TV cabinets. RVs are notorious for having tiny fridges. We are lucky that ours has both sides here, so ours is a little bit bigger. But we were able to organize things using these bins that have these little handles on them. So we can keep all the yogurt in one. We have another one that's filled with like glass jars. It's just all happen, happen to be pickled things. Um, but this also helps keep everything in place when we're moving and kind of helps just keep everything organized in such a small space so you can easily pull things out and get exactly what you need. Another tip we have for you guys is to use your out of the way spaces effectively. So RVs are manufactured with kind of like every little square inch used and things are kind of, you know, pressed in against each other and configured in different ways. But you'll find places that are kind of just big empty areas that you can actually use for some things. So behind our TV, this TV is wall mounted. We can actually pull the TV out. There's a ton of room back here. So what I did is I put a command hook up and then I hung up these, uh, these racks that go with our oven, with our convection microwave. And then over on the other side, we have these theater seats, but behind the seats is a nice big empty cavity where we store like window covers. And we actually had uh, some blankets and some other stuff stored back here as well, because there's really, you can't do anything behind these seats and they were climbed so the top goes back. So you just have the big empty space down below. Another nice little out of the way area where you may not think to store things is underneath mattresses. We stored flat sheets, fitted sheets. Uh, we actually even store, you know, those Lego base board things. Uh, we've stored curtain rods. We've stored all sorts of things, kind of big, long, flat things. You have all this space under here. And actually, I mean, if you store a bunch of linens, it might actually make it a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Speaking of out of the way places to store things, we also have a couple appliances we've never used. The microwave here and the outside kitchen. Uh, we just store our exterior lights out here. Uh, the oven on the inside we've also never used because we have the convection oven. So in that oven we stored like sheet pans and plastic water bottles and stuff that just kind of packed in nicely and wouldn't roll around and break. And also out here there's this nice big space up here where we stored some extra like beach towels and outdoor stuff that would kind of help us clean up while we were outside. The last little item I want to share with y'all is pantry bars. Now, if you don't know what these are, just think like the big compression uh, shower bars, but really small, right? They, they unscrew to get bigger or smaller, and then they kind of press into place. Where these come in very handy is if you have a big empty cabinet or something down here, you can kind of squeeze it in to keep things from moving around. Or like in this outside fridge, we would store soda and beer and stuff out here. And to keep those bottles from rolling around, I'd have a pantry bar kind of wedged in there this way. So on moving day, stuff doesn't roll around and you, you know, you open the door and you get attacked by everything that's in there, like in an infomercial or something. We hope that this video was helpful to you and that you found something that you can maybe use in your RV when you start organizing or if you want to change some things up, maybe you can use them in your home too. Don't forget to let us know down in the comments what sorts of things you use. What do you do that maybe was different from us or you probably have a different space and how did you use it? So let us know. Yeah, we've been in a lot of RVs. If you go kind of back in our little video archive here, we've toured a ton of oh RVs. Oh my goodness, so many. So you'll see the storage stuff is different in every RV. So hopefully, you know, bins fit everywhere, yep. command hooks fit everywhere. So we're trying to keep it a little generic. So look <laughs> for those out of the way places right. and, and just make the best use out of the space that you have. Yep. And with that being said, we kind of said we were moving everything out of here at the beginning of this video. Yep. Uh, and even more importantly, this is going to be the last time you're going to have this view. Oh, no. uh, I am taking all of these off today. Yep. We're going to find a home for this. In... We're not getting rid of this. Yeah, I we're not getting rid stuff. of that. But we're going to find a home for that <laughs> mm -hmm. in our new home. More about that next week. What? Bye, guys.